How are you today? Um, as a filmmaker, one of the challenges is making storyboards. I'm um, very doodle impaired, so I can even draw stick figures. What I'm going to show you in this video is the perspective tool in GIMP. Um, we can make storyboards pretty quick. Now what I need, you know, I could see it in my head, is a picture of a window. Um, I just found one online, but I want to look at it sideways, and I need the sun shining in. So just in a few seconds we can do that here pretty quick. I will open a picture of a window I've got here. Take it a second to load. So as you can see we're looking at it pretty flat and I need to look at it kind of sideways. So I'll just hit this perspective tool you can see right there. And then just click on the image. Now you have four corners. See the blocks? You can drag them wherever you want. I'm going to take this one down a little bit. Yeah, that's too much. A little bit of lag. It's a huge photo. I'll take this one up. And then over here on the perspective box, I'll just go ahead and hit transform. Let that load, get a little color wheel spinning. If the picture wasn't so huge, it wouldn't be so bad. As you can see, we're at 84.1 megabyte size now of a photo. Uh, so that's kind of the view that I want. We're not looking straight on anymore. Um, now I'm going to need the sun coming in. Um, but you'll notice how we have transparent edges on the back here. That's okay because the picture's so big. I'm going to want to cut this down to 1280 by 720 anyways, so that when I make the animatic, uh, everything looks as it should. We won't do that yet, though. Let me... So if, if you want the perspective, that's all you need to, need to see. Let's go ahead and trim it down some now. I'll start over here. We'll just rough trim it out to about there. Zoom in a little bit more. Let's see what we're working on. Now I don't want these trees in the background, so if you want to learn a little bit more, you know, about layers and stuff, I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I'm gonna open up a picture of the sun. I've got one stuck in here. We'll just copy that. And for now, I'm going to paste it as a new layer. But I'm going to stick it behind this one. Just so we don't have to look at it for a while. So, back on this window frame, I need to come in here and erase that window stuff. So, I'm just going to use the eraser. But I'm going to zoom in pretty good. Zoom it 200%, and then I can grab the eraser tool here. Oh, I don't want that big circle. What kind of a square? That one's kind of big, though, too. You take the size down quite a bit. I'll go to, I don't know, 30. See how that looks? Yeah, 36. Well, I didn't want blue. Well, that is the sun. Let's, um, hide this layer for a minute by clicking on eyeball just so I can see the transparency in the back so if I click on a spot and hold down shift you'll see I get a nice, nice line but I've got a silhouette of the eraser see that I've just got my finger on the shift button to click around here and I can just kinda go through and erase everything I need to Bump that size up a little bit. Oops, I didn't want to do that one. I'll just hold down shift again. Make it easier. Now just for fun, if we look at this sun in the background, Let's 
not quite there yet because this is way too big. Yeah, we're getting there. All right, so cut this down some more. I'm gonna shut that off again so I can see. Go to 200. I'll just zoom through here real quick. You guys can watch if you want. And for me, they can they can be pretty rough because it is just storyboards. You know, it's not stick figures work for most people. I'm a little OCD that way, but like I said, I can't drive worth worth a shit. So this helps me. I'm just holding down the shift key as I use the eraser. Just click it, click a spot, hold down shift. Left click the mouse. Just work my way around. Come back to a spot in the center. I'm just holding shift down the whole time. Makes it quicker. Again, it's not, I'm not making art, I'm making storyboards so that the rest of the film crew can see what I see in my head and what we need to see on film. All right, so I've got the gist of that down, got the basics. Take it down to 50%. Let's see if we can see our other layer yet. No, it's too small back there. So I need to scale this layer down. Because right now, uh, yeah, see, it's huge. Well, not enormous, but I need to make it like 1280. There's 740. So I'll go ahead and scale it. So that's getting close to what I want. Still need to crop 20 out of there. I think I'll do it off the bottom. You can see on the lower part over here. When If you watch this, you can see how big your scale is. There's 720 right there. That's good enough. Cut that. Now let's see if we can see the sun through there. Not quite, so I'm going to move that layer. If I click on that layer, move it over to my window. Kind of getting closer to what I want, but I need to scale that layer. Just need to make it bigger so I can see the whole thing through the window. Let's try that. That's nice. Now we can still move that layer around. That's kind of the shot I need. So I'm going to export that. We'll just put it on the desktop here. We'll call it, uh, I don't know, 22C. I want to save it as a PNG file. Those are always nicer. And you want to use file export in GIMP, not file save as. Save as will, will save the layers and stuff. Uh, but you won't get an image. Alright, I'm going to exit out of GIMP. And if we go look at our original image, let me look at our new one. There's quite a difference there. That's it. Hope you enjoyed it.